How do you think the High Confessor speaks to Adam? Through the voice in his head? Or do you think he has to say the words aloud? Excuse me, brother. Place your faith in Adam, and never will you err. Zealot Thiel. Glory to Adam, brother. Did you need something? The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well, as I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange moods. She was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her, at least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. What caused Gwyneth to turn her back on Adam? I can only tell you what I saw. She was praying quietly. When she suddenly leapt up and began to shout that Adam is a lie, when Tectus confronted her, she struck him with such force that she knocked him to the ground. When she realized what she'd done, she fled. Tectus wanted us to send someone after her, make an example. But at the time, it was not his decision. Confessor Martin insisted we wait, hope for her return. Sadly, that never happened, and we gave her up for dead. That was the end of Gwyneth. Or so we thought. One of the acolytes spied her at a holy site, but she escaped in the fog. It was not long after that the blasphemous messages appeared, and we knew it had to be her. Why not just ignore her? Is Gwyneth really that much of a threat to you? No. That is out of the question. Adam's will is clear in this matter. Heresy cannot be tolerated. I'll find Sister Gwyneth. Then by Adam's grace. I hope that you will succeed where I did not. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. Watch yourself out there. Many dangers in the fog. Scraps torn from some kind of banner, but it looks like some pieces are missing.
Lockatok Station. She must be staying at a campground. At least the directions are clear. Messages are posted. I... I know it could mean my life, but the children must know. I was paging through a pre-war tome when I saw it. The atom. A tiny speck of matter surrounded by endless depths. A vast emptiness that dwells within us all. It only reaffirmed what I'd felt all this time. The truth the Confessor wanted no one to hear. The lie that is Adam. It's not real. We aren't all infinite worlds. Just empty space. Dead. Cold. And we are nothing. The Confessor won't be pleased by my messages. But I'm not afraid. I'm going to start moving things to the old church by the West Access Road in case... In case they decide to join me. I... I just hope I'm not too late to save them from Adam's lies.
Truth of nothing? What does that mean? If you are truly prepared to hear it, then I will tell you. The children of Adam have been deceived by Martin, by Tectus. It's a false gospel, all of it. What they don't want you to know is that Adam is but a tiny moat in the vastness of nothing. Nothing is the true nature of existence. I have seen it with my own eyes. A void so vast and empty, like a night sky without stars. I know it is difficult to accept, but you must, and so must the others. They deserve to know the truth. What if you misunderstood what you saw and overreacted? Do you really believe that everyone is wrong about Adam, except you? I can't... I can't think about that now! I've strayed so far from the path. I don't dare look back. You're out here all alone. Don't you miss your brothers and sisters at the Nucleus? I know they're like a family to you. Of course, I miss them more than anything. I've never been alone before. If I thought there was a chance they might accept me. But I'm a heretic. And my life is forfeit. If you stay here, you're as good as dead. You need to leave this island and never come back. Hmm. There's wisdom in your words. If I cannot save the children of Adam from their blindness, perhaps I can spread the word elsewhere. Yes, nothing's will becomes more clear to me now. I must spread the message to all who will hear, no matter how far the journey. You should tell Richter and the others that I'm dead. I can't risk them following me. Thank you for opening my eyes to that which I could not see. Fear and doubt have blinded you, sister. But I think in your heart, you don't really believe any of this. Blinded by fear and doubt. I... I can't deny the truth of those words. How could I have been such a fool? I was a child of Adam, one of the beloved. I must seek forgiveness from the others. Please tell Richter that I will return soon. I'll accept whatever punishment is deemed just. If you stay... Hmm. You should tell... Thank you. Gwyneth. You have shown me a new path. Soon the whole world will know the truth of nothing.
Did you hear that? Adam's justice will be done. Sister Gwyneth won't be troubling you any longer. She brought it on herself. Won't ask you for the details. Doesn't really matter to me. You've done well. Proved your devotion, and more important, your loyalty. Adam smiles on you today, brother. So, was this a paying job? Do not fear. You will be recognized for your dedication. Here, take this. It's not just a weapon, it's one of our sacred artifacts. Go forth, and show no mercy to the enemies of Adam. Place your faith in Adam and never do fear. Shield me from those who would do me harm. Far Harbor will know Adam's wrath. Sister Mai. Hey, thanks again for your work on the decon system. Even if it does refuse to spit rads. Save folks some scouring, I guess. So you need supplies? Sure. Let's take a look. Never know what you might need. <laughs> 